and a clean side of your page. Now, you're going to start, but I have to start with the Sharpie because you could see it better. You're not going to really see my pencil that very well. All right, first we're going to practice on this side, okay? We're going to practice. So I want you to get your pencil ready, and I'm going to practice making some lines. Let's start by making a curvy line. Let's try to make an oval. Can you make an oval? Try to make an oval. See, my oval is not perfect. That's okay. Now, we're going to make a zigzag. Can you make a zigzag? Practicing right now. Practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to make a loopy line. Can you make loopy lines? Now I'm going to practice making a triangle. So how I make a triangle is I make a line, a diagonal line, and then another diagonal line. And then I'm going to try making one that's upside down. I make a line at the top this time, and then my triangle points down. Not perfect, that's okay. And, oh, inside of our oval, we're going to make curvy lines. So let's practice. We're going to cut this oval in half. Can you cut it in half? That's half. So I have one side that's even. It's evenly cut in half. Then I'm going to make a curved line on one side and a curved line on the other side. That's how we're gonna make our pumpkin today. Give me a thumb up if you're ready for your pumpkin. Thumb down. Okay, so we're just gonna wait till everybody is ready. And then I'm gonna get this side of my page ready. Now remember, I'm using a marker, you're using a pencil first. So. When I'm ready, I'm going to kind of find where I want my artwork to be. If I want to turn my page this way, I can turn it this way. If I want to keep it this way, then I keep it straight. That's up to you. It's up to you. So I'm going to start by figuring out where I want my pumpkin to be. I'm going to make a dot at the top of where I want him to be and a dot at the bottom. That's how big my pumpkin's going to be. You decide how big you want yours to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curved line. I'm going to attach both these lines. So I'm going to make a curved line up and then back down. Is my line perfect? No. Oh, thank you. The confidence. But no, it's, it's not. It's not perfect. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to attach it. Now I could see some of those dots. Now what I could do is I could, when I get my Sharpie, I can make that line thicker. Now remember, we're going to cut our oval in half. So I have two halves. This is one half. And on one half, on the left side, I'm going to make a curved line on one side and a curved line on the other side. Give me a thumb up when you've got that. If you have a little pumpkin, maybe you could make a little pumpkin next to it. I might actually want to give this pumpkin a friend. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a little friend. What is my pumpkin missing? Raise your hand. What is he missing at the top? Yes, Tayon. Yeah. His stem. He's missing his stem hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curved line at the top. Parallel curved line. That means it's right next to it. And then I'm going to connect them. And I can also make a line in the middle of that. And I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Oh, it does look like two stems. I can add more lines to it, too, if I want to, because my pumpkin has a lot of lines on his stem. 
Now, I want you to get your Sharpie and I want you to trace <coughs> your pencil lines while we're waiting for everybody else to finish. Trace your pencil lines. Just the pencil line. I like it. Just the pencil lines. towards the top, right? Because his mouth's going to go on the bottom and his nose is in the middle. So I'm going to make two lines for his eyes, the bottom of the triangle. I make my diagonal lines. And then I finish my triangles. And when you get your Sharpie, you could color it in. Boys, that's enough. Now my other triangle is upside down for his nose. So I start with a line and then I can attach those lines and give him a nose. Are you ready for the mouth? Okay, my mouth is a zigzag. So I do zigzag on one side, and then underneath it I do a shorter zigzag, and then I can attach my lines and color them in. I'm also going to give my pumpkin his vine loopy lines. I forgot to add that before. And I could do the same thing to the other pumpkin. Maybe the other pumpkin's face is a little bit different. Maybe his triangle eyes are upside down.
And when you got a space, you can trace it with Sharpie. You can't paint until you got everything traced with Sharpie. And then you can just wait for my different instructions before you start. So you have a They need a ground. So what we're going to do, we're going to go get our zigzags again, and we're going to zigzag some grass. We don't want them floating in white space. No, no. Hmm, what else can I put? Maybe I can put a moon. Oh, did you know that tonight is a full moon? Yes. We have a full moon tonight. We'll put a full moon up in our corner over there. Yes, it was the beginning of the full moon. It was very bright last night. So, Mona, since I have a full moon, and I, if I have a white crayon, I can make some secret stars. Maybe even some swirly lines with my crayon and see what happens when I paint the background. Because I'm going to be able to see them. So you can make some... Maybe some wavy lines and some stars. I can even maybe get some of my yellow and do that too. I'll see some of the yellow right now. Eliana, you got it? Now that I'm done. Oh, Ms. Z doesn't have her own paint. She's got to get her own paint. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna wait to see when you're ready. Cause then we're gonna start our pumpkin. While I'm waiting for you, I'll show you the secret. There's my secret lines showing up in the sky. Look at that. So cool. All right, Mona, what color is my pumpkin? Orange. Orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to color the whole thing in orange. I'm just going to color on all of my Sharpie lines. I'm going to show you how we're going to blend our watercolors together today. I want you to paint on all your pumpkins lines first, just the lines. So you're going to have a little white space in the middle. We're going to fill that in with a different color. What color do you think we're going to use? Purple brown. A little bit lighter than brown. What color helps to make orange? Um, yellow. yellow and red. So what I'm going to do is in between those lines, I'm going to get some yellow before my orange completely dries. And I'm just going to paint that in the middle. Now I've got a value of color, which means I have a light color and a darker color. I can even grab a little bit of red and add a little bit of red on top of my orange just to kind of blend my colors together. Look how cool that pumpkin looks. 
I want you to start painting when you're ready. All I'm doing right now is I'm working on my orange line. Then I color in the white space, yellow. And then I'll go back with my red. I'm being smart and I'm blending my colors to make new colors. I love that nice dark orange that the bottom pumpkin came out. Looks really cool. Because if you look at my pumpkin, he's got a lot of different colors. He's orange, but you can see all different kinds of shades of orange. So instead of pulling up, you pull in. And since I'm ready, I can go back and maybe paint some of my sky and find some of those secret colors that I colored in. Those secret lines. Boys, way too much talking. I'm going to make my stem of my pumpkin brown. You can make it green if you want to. And then my grass is green because we're in Florida. <laughs> it's not brown or have leaves, just green. Boys, I'm going to take away your point if you're talking way too much. Maybe I can add a little bit of yellow to my grass, maybe to kind of get some other bright colors in there. I have some other yellows in my picture, and if I incorporate that yellow in the grass, it helps the other colors to pop off the page. Before we're, we're done for painting today. So if I'm done early, I can actually go on this side and maybe I can make a picture with this side. Maybe I just want to paint or turn it into an abstract picture. Maybe I want to turn this guy into another pumpkin. Up to you, but I can paint now on this side. Maybe this time I'm not going to draw and I'm just going to paint. I'm going to draw with my paintbrush instead. And then I have a pumpkin coloring sheet or a sugar skull coloring sheet. So I'll come over and ask you which one you want. Remember, our artwork goes on the drying rack when we're done because it's wet and it has to dry.
Now we don't paint on this, okay? This is just for markers and crayons. So when you're done, then you can work on that. That was a sugar sky figure diagram. Only drawing, no painting on it, okay? <laughs> I'll show you what my pumpkin looks like, and I'll show you her sugar skull. This is my pumpkin. 